Burt Reynolds, the renowned actor, was known for his charismatic charm and masculinity that attracted women like moths to a flame. His on-screen persona exuded confidence and swagger, earning him the title of an unrepentant ladies' man. But even this classic film star experienced the pain of lost love, reminding us that no one is immune to the heartache that comes with it. After all, love is a powerful emotion, especially for those we truly cherish. Getting over it can be a difficult task, even for a god on the screen. Despite his enduring impact on the world of cinema, even Burt Reynolds had to face the complexities of love and heartbreak. Burt Reynolds' romantic life was quite eventful during the late 1950s and 1960s. In 1960, he proposed to actress Lori Nelson, but he struggled with the idea of commitment, which ultimately led to their breakup. Despite his intentions, Reynolds found it challenging to maintain a long-term relationship with Nelson. Shortly after his breakup with Nelson, Reynolds met Judy Karn, also known as Judy Kahn. Their connection was immediate, and they quickly became serious. After a brief courtship of only six months, the two decided to tie the knot. However, their marriage was short-lived, and they divorced after just three years together. Despite their best efforts, Reynolds and Khan were unable to make their relationship work. During the filming of the movie Run, Simon, Run, Reynolds had a fling with Swedish actress Inga Stevens. The two had a strong connection, and their chemistry was evident on screen. However, their relationship was short-lived, and it did not lead to a serious commitment. In summary, Burt Reynolds had a series of romantic relationships during this time, including a proposal to Lori Nelson, a marriage to Judy Kahn, and a fling with Inga Stevens. Despite his best efforts, Reynolds struggled with commitment and was unable to maintain long-term relationships with any of these women. Burt Reynolds had a romantic relationship with Mamie Van Doren, but it was short-lived as Van Doren was unimpressed by him. The actor then moved on to date Miko Mayama, but their relationship came to an end when Reynolds left her for Dinah Shore. In a generous yet questionable gesture, Reynolds offered Mayama money and a house as compensation for the breakup. Reynolds and Shore had a strong emotional bond, with the 20-year age gap not being a hindrance to their connection. However, their relationship came to a close when Reynolds expressed his desire for children, something that Shore, who was already a mother of one, could not provide. Despite these relationships, Reynolds remained a prominent figure in Hollywood. His charm and charisma made him a fan favorite, and his talent and acting earned him critical acclaim. The actor's career spanned over five decades, with notable roles in films such as Deliverance and Smokey and The Bandit. Throughout his life, Reynolds had a way of capturing the hearts of those around him, even if the relationships were not meant to last. His ability to connect with people, whether on or off screen, left a lasting impact on those who knew him. And while his romantic relationships may have been complex, his contributions to the world of film and television will always be cherished. As for Miyama, she moved on from the relationship and continued to pursue her own passions. She became a successful actress and writer with her work appearing in various films and television shows. Despite the circumstances of their breakup, Miyama has spoken fondly of Reynolds and the impact he had on her life. Short, who passed away in 1994, also held Reynolds in high regard. The two remained close friends even after their romantic relationship ended. Shore's support and encouragement were instrumental in Reynolds' success, and he often credited her for helping him become the man he was. In the end, Reynolds' relationships may have been complicated, but they were also a testament to his ability to connect with people on a deep and emotional level. Whether it was through his acting or his personal relationships, Reynolds left an indelible mark on those around him and his legacy will continue to resonate for generations to come. Chris Abbott, a young actress, admired Burt Reynolds despite the eventual end of their relationship. The two had a significant age difference, but Abbott looked up to Reynolds for his talent and success in the film industry. Reynolds, however, moved on and began a relationship with Lonnie Anderson. The couple dated for six years before tying the knot in 1988. Anderson, a successful actress in her own right, had caught Reynolds' eye, and they soon became one of Hollywood's most prominent couples. Unfortunately, their marriage was not meant to last. After just a few years, the couple's relationship began to deteriorate, and they ultimately decided to divorce. The separation was contentious, with Reynolds accusing Anderson of cheating and publicly criticizing her. 
The bitter separation left a lasting impact on both parties. Despite the end of his marriage to Anderson, Reynolds remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His fans continued to admire him for his talent and charisma, and he remained a fixture in Hollywood for many years to come. Throughout his career, Reynolds had been known for his rugged good looks and charming personality. He had starred in a number of successful films, including Deliverance, Smokey, and The Bandit, and Boogie Nights. His work had earned him numerous accolades and a devoted fan base. Despite the challenges he faced in his personal life, Reynolds remained committed to his craft. He continued to act in films and television shows, and he became a respected director and producer. His contributions to the entertainment industry were significant, and he will always be remembered as a true Hollywood legend. In the end, Reynolds' legacy is one of talent, perseverance, and dedication. He was a man who loved what he did, and he worked hard to achieve his goals. His fans will always cherish his contributions to the world of entertainment, and his name will forever be synonymous with great acting and classic films. Burt Reynolds has openly expressed his regrets about his marriage to actress Lonnie Anderson, which ended in divorce in 1995. The actor has described his behavior during their relationship as less than desirable, and he has acknowledged that it caused harm to Anderson. Reynolds has also spoken about his romantic relationship with actress Sally Field, whom he met on the set of the classic film Smokey and the Bandit. The two had a strong connection, with Reynolds once describing Field as the love of his life. However, their relationship was not without its challenges. Reynolds' infidelity caused tension and ultimately contributed to the end of their romance. Despite the difficulties, Field has remained a significant figure in Reynolds' life. The actor has expressed his admiration for Field's talent and has spoken about the impact she had on him both personally and professionally. However, he has also recognized that their relationship may not have been healthy for Field, who has spoken publicly about the emotional toll it took on her. In recent years, Reynolds has reflected on his past relationships and expressed remorse for any pain he may have caused. He has spoken candidly about his regrets, including his infidelity and his treatment of Anderson during their marriage. Despite the challenges he faced in his personal life, Reynolds remains a beloved figure in the world of film and television, known for his charisma, charm, and undeniable talent. Sally Field, the esteemed actress, won an Oscar for her remarkable performance in Norma Rae during her relationship with Burt Reynolds. However, their relationship had a significant impact on Field's career and personal life. Fields revealed that she felt controlled by Reynolds and lost a sense of herself during their time together. She once stated, I was so involved with Burt, I didn't know who I was anymore. This revelation sheds light on the challenging dynamics of their relationship, which affected Field's perspective and career trajectory. On the other hand, Reynolds expressed his regret over losing Fields and described her as the right person for him. In his interviews, he acknowledged that their relationship was a missed opportunity for a meaningful connection. Despite the difficulties they faced, the two remained close friends after their breakup. Their relationship, while complex, was a significant chapter in both of their lives and careers. Field's success in Norma Ray and her subsequent career highlights demonstrate her resilience and talent as an actress. Meanwhile, Reynolds' reflections on their relationship show his vulnerability and willingness to acknowledge past mistakes. In the end, the impact of their relationship on Sally Field's career and personal growth is undeniable. Her Oscar win for Norma Ray remains a testament to her talent and determination, while Reynolds' interviews reveal his regret and admiration for the actress he once knew. Burt Reynolds and Sally Field's relationship was a significant one, but Fields held reservations about the depth of Reynolds' feelings towards her. Despite not attending his burial, Fields penned a heartfelt eulogy for the actor, acknowledging the impact he had on her life. Reynolds, a prominent figure in Hollywood, was known for his charisma and charm. He starred in numerous films and shows throughout his career, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. One of his most notable roles was in the classic television show, Gunsmoke, where he played the character Quinn Spur for two seasons. Fields and Reynolds' relationship was tumultuous, with Fields expressing doubts about the sincerity of Reynolds' declarations of love. In her eulogy, Fields wrote, I never could believe that Burt was in love with me, and I'm pretty sure he knew that. Despite her skepticism, Fields acknowledged the significance of their relationship and the impact it had on her life. 
Fields and Reynolds first met on the set of the film Smokey and the Bandit in 1977. Their chemistry was undeniable and they quickly became one of Hollywood's most beloved couples. However, their relationship was fraught with tension and they ultimately parted ways in 1982. Despite not attending Reynolds' burial, Fields' eulogy served as a testament to the actor's impact on her life. She wrote, his charm and his wit were undeniable. I am grateful for having known him and for the years we had together. Reynolds' legacy continues to live on through his work in film and television. His impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable and his performances will be cherished for generations to come. Although Fields and Reynolds' relationship had its ups and downs, Fields' eulogy serves as a reminder of the actor's enduring charm and the impact he had on those around him. Burt Reynolds' career was marked by notable successes and challenging setbacks. In the 1970s, the actor became a major box office draw, known for his charismatic performances in films like Deliverance and Smokey and The Bandit. However, his career took a downturn in the 1980s due to a string of box office failures and personal issues. Despite these challenges, Reynolds made a successful comeback in the 1990s with a role in the TV show Evening Shade, for which he won a Golden Globe. The show, which aired from 1990 to 1994, followed the life of a former professional football player who returns to his rural hometown to coach the high school football team. Reynolds' performance was widely praised and helped to revive his career. Reynolds also received critical acclaim for his role in the 1997 film Boogie Nights, in which he played a pornography director. His performance earned him a second Golden Globe nomination and helped to solidify his status as a respected actor. Despite their troubled relationship, Reynolds' longtime partner, Sally Field, recognized the importance of his contributions to Hollywood. In a 2012 interview, she said, I think he gave us a great deal of joy. I think he gave us a great deal of laughter and emotion and heart. In addition to his work in film and television, Reynolds was also known for his philanthropy. He was a longtime supporter of the Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital in Hollywood, Florida, and established the Burt Reynolds Institute for Film and theater in Jupiter, Florida. Reynolds' legacy continues to be felt in Hollywood and beyond. His impact on the industry is undeniable and his contributions will be remembered for generations to come. The actor's ability to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression is a testament to his talent and enduring appeal. In the world of entertainment, few names resonate as strongly as Burt Reynolds. Born on February 11, 1936, in Lansing, Michigan, Reynolds pursued a career in acting after a successful stint in football was cut short by an injury. Reynolds first gained recognition for his role in the television series Gunsmoke in the 1960s. However, it was his portrayal of Lewis Medlock in the 1972 film Deliverance that catapulted him to stardom. This thrilling movie showcased Reynolds' ability to captivate audiences with his rugged charm and versatile acting skills. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Reynolds became a household name, gracing the silver screen in a variety of genres, from action-adventure films like Smokey and The Bandit to romantic comedies such as Starting Over. His charismatic performances left an indelible mark on the industry, making him one of the most popular actors of his time. In addition to his work in front of the camera, Reynolds also demonstrated his prowess behind the scenes. As a producer and director, he contributed to the success of numerous projects, further solidifying his status as a multi-talented force in Hollywood. Beyond his professional achievements, Reynolds was known for his generosity and kindness off-screen. He was a mentor to many up-and-coming actors and frequently used his platform to give back to the community. Although Burt Reynolds passed away on September 6, 2018, his impact on the entertainment industry continues to be fellow lieutenant his captivating performances an enduring legacy serve as a testament to his remarkable career and the many lives he touched. Step into the world of film and television and you'll find Burt Reynolds' mark etched into its very fabric. Burt Reynolds, born on February 11, 1936, in Lansing, Michigan, was the son of Burton Milo Reynolds, a police chief, and Fern Hurt Reynolds. His upbringing was largely in Florida, where his family moved when he was quite young. Reynolds' early life was marked by sports. He was a gifted athlete and received a scholarship to play football at Florida State University. However, an injury derailed his football career, leading him to explore acting. He enrolled in a community theater class where he discovered his passion for the craft. 
Reynolds' early exposure to acting was largely influenced by his acting teacher, Joanne Woodward, who was also an accomplished actress and the wife of Paul Newman. Woodward recognized Reynolds' potential and became a mentor to him, encouraging him to pursue acting professionally. Reynolds' path to stardom was not without challenges. He struggled to find work in New York and eventually moved to California, where he found success in television. His breakout role came in the 1970s with the film Deliverance, which catapulted him to fame. Throughout his career, Reynolds worked with many notable actors and directors who influenced his craft. He starred in films alongside actors such as Dom DeLuise, John Voight, and Dolly Parton, and worked with directors like John Borman and Robert Aldrich. Reynolds' ability to form strong relationships with his co-stars and directors contributed to his success in the industry. In addition to his professional influences, Reynolds' personal life also played a role in his career. His relationship with actress Sally Field, with whom he starred in several films, was a significant one. Field has spoken publicly about the impact Reynolds had on her career and their enduring friendship. In summary, Burt Reynolds' early influences included his family, particularly his acting teacher Joanne Woodward, and the many actors and directors he worked with throughout his career. His relationships, both personal and professional, contributed to his success in the industry and left a lasting impact on his craft. Burt Reynolds' passion for acting took root in his college years at Florida State University. As a football star, a knee injury sidelined his dreams of a professional sports career. During this time, he enrolled in a drama course on a whim, discovering a newfound love for the stage. Reynolds' natural talent and charisma were quickly recognized by his professors, who encouraged him to pursue acting professionally. He once shared, I was lucky enough to have teachers who saw something in me and gave me the confidence to go for it. A pivotal experience for Reynolds was his first leading role in a college production of Mr. Roberts. His captivating performance left the audience in awe, and he received a standing ovation. This moment solidified his decision to become a full-time actor. After college, Reynolds moved to New York City to kickstart his career. He faced numerous rejections and struggled to make ends meet. However, his unwavering determination and the support of his mentors propelled him forward. In 1957, he landed his first Broadway role in Look. We've come through, marking the beginning of a successful and enduring acting career. Burt Reynolds, born on February 11, 1936, in Waycross, Georgia, faced numerous challenges on his path to stardom. Financial struggles were a constant companion in his early life. To make ends meet, he worked as a waiter, a dock worker, and even a boxer. Despite these hardships, Reynolds never lost sight of his dream to become an actor. Rejection and skepticism from the industry were commonplace for Reynolds. After serving in the military, he enrolled in acting school, only to be told he lacked the necessary talent. Undeterred, he persevered, finding solace in small-town theater productions. His resilience paid off when he was discovered by a talent scout and offered a role in a television series. However, the road to success was not without its setbacks. Reynolds' early film career was marred by poor choices and negative reviews. In response, he took control of his career, becoming more selective with roles and even turning down the lead in Star Wars to avoid being typecast in science fiction. Reynolds' creative solutions to industry hurdles extended beyond his acting choices. In the 1970s, he produced and starred in the groundbreaking film Deliverance, which showcased his versatility as an actor and cemented his status as a leading man. This success allowed him to establish his own production company, ensuring he had more control over his career and future projects. Throughout his life, Burt Reynolds faced financial struggles, industry skepticism, and setbacks. Yet, with determination and creativity, he overcame these obstacles, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood and inspiring future generations of actors. His story serves as a testament to the power, resilience, and the importance of staying true to one's dreams. In 1972, Burt Reynolds' career reached a turning point with the release of Deliverance. Directed by John Borman, this psychological thriller showcased Reynolds' dramatic abilities, earning him critical acclaim and solidifying his status as a leading man. Co-star John Voight praised Reynolds' performance, stating, Burt brought a gravitas to the role that truly grounded the film. Reynolds' charisma and comedic timing were further highlighted in 1977's Smokey and The Bandit. 
The film became a cultural phenomenon, grossing over $126 million domestically and cementing Reynolds' position as a box office draw. Director Hal Needham, a longtime friend and collaborator, recalled, Burt had this incredible ability to make people laugh, but also to command respect. It's what made him the perfect bandit. In 1997, Reynolds demonstrated his range as an actor in Boogie Nights, playing adult film director Jack Horner. His nuanced portrayal earned him a Best Supporting Actor nomination at the Academy Awards. Co-star Mark Wahlberg shared, Burt was a mentor to me on that film. He brought so much depth to that character, and it was an honor to work alongside him. Throughout his career, Burt Reynolds' breakthrough moments were marked by his versatility, charisma, and undeniable talent. His ability to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impact on the film industry remains a testament to his enduring legacy. Burt Reynolds, a charismatic actor known for his rugged good looks and southern charm, brought a unique approach to his work. He once said, I think the most important thing in life is to be giving, and the most important thing in acting is to be giving to the other actors. This generosity shone through in his performances, creating a sense of camaraderie with his co-stars that translated to the screen. Reynolds' upbringing in rural Florida shaped his worldview and influenced his career. He often played characters with a similar background, using his own experiences to add authenticity to his roles. His humble beginnings also instilled in him a strong work ethic and a down-to-earth personality that made him a relatable figure for audiences. One of Reynolds' most notable roles was in the 1972 film Deliverance, where he played Louis Medlock, an outdoorsman who leads his friends on a dangerous canoe trip. The film explores themes of masculinity, survival, and the darker side of human nature. Reynolds' portrayal of Medlock was both physically and emotionally demanding, requiring him to push beyond his comfort zone. In addition to his acting, Reynolds was known for his sense of humor and his willingness to make fun of himself. He often appeared on talk shows and in comedy films, poking fun at his tough guy image and his high-profile personal life. This self-deprecating humor endeared him to fans and added to his appeal as a likable, approachable star. Despite his success, Reynolds remained humble and grounded. He once said, I've always believed that you should never look down on a man unless you're helping him up. This philosophy guided his interactions with fans, co-workers, and the public making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, Burt Reynolds brought a unique blend of talent, humor, and humility to his work. His personal experiences and worldview were reflected in his performances, creating a lasting impact on the film industry and on the hearts of his fans. Burt Reynolds, an actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry, was born on February 11, 1936. His career spanned over five decades, and he became a symbol of the 1970s Hollywood scene. Reynolds' impact and influence can be seen in various aspects of the industry, from on-screen performances to off-screen contributions. Known for his charisma and charm, Reynolds often played rugged, masculine characters that resonated with audiences. According to film critic Leonard Moulton, Burt Reynolds brought a warmth and likability to his roles that made him a star. Reynolds' on-screen presence was so powerful that it inspired a generation of actors, including Bruce Willis, who once said, I wanted to be Burt Reynolds. Reynolds' contribution to the industry extended beyond his acting abilities. He was a trailblazer in terms of star power and influence, using his fame to shape the business side of Hollywood. In 1979, he became the first actor to demand a share of the gross profits for a film, which ultimately changed the way actors were compensated for their work. Moreover, Reynolds was instrumental in the development of the Florida film industry. He established the Burt Reynolds Institute for Film and Theater in Jupiter, Florida, which provided training and resources for aspiring actors and filmmakers. The Institute helped to establish Florida as a hub for film production, leading to the creation of thousands of jobs and generating millions of dollars in revenue for the state. Reynolds' influence can also be seen in the types of films he starred in, he was a leading man in the buddy comedy genre, which gained popularity in the 1970s and 1980s. Films like Smokey and the Bandit and The Cannonball Run showcased Reynolds' comedic timing and his ability to play off other actors, creating a new genre that continues to be popular today. In addition to his on-screen work, Reynolds was a generous philanthropist. He donated millions of dollars to various charities, including the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, 
and the Wounded Warrior Project. Reynolds' generosity and dedication to helping others left a lasting impact on those around him. In conclusion, Burt Reynolds' impact and influence on the film industry cannot be overstated. His on-screen presence, business acumen, and philanthropic efforts helped to shape the industry in meaningful ways. As film historian G9 Basinger notes, Burt Reynolds was a true original, a one-of-a-kind talent who left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Burt Reynolds, the charismatic actor known for his roles in films like Deliverance and Smokey and The Bandit, had a rich personal life that informed his work and philanthropic efforts. Reynolds was born on February 11, 1936, in Lansing, Michigan, and grew up in Florida, where he developed a love for football and acting. Reynolds' football career was cut short due to an injury, leading him to pursue acting full-time. However, his love for sports remained a significant part of his life and he often incorporated it into his work. For instance, he directed and starred in the 1977 film Gator, which featured a football game as a central plot point. Reynolds was also passionate about giving back to his community and supporting various causes. He was a longtime supporter of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, an organization that provides after-school programs for children and teens. Reynolds credited the Boys and Girls Club with helping him develop his confidence and leadership skills as a young person, and he remained committed to the organization throughout his life. In addition to his work with the Boys and Girls Clubs, Reynolds was also involved in various other philanthropic efforts. He donated money to build a theater at Florida State University, his alma mater, and supported charities that focused on issues such as animal welfare and cancer research. Reynolds' personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his professional life and philanthropic efforts. He was a dedicated actor who brought his unique charm and charisma to every role, but he was also a caring and compassionate individual who believed in giving back to his community and supporting those in need. Despite facing personal and professional challenges throughout his life, Reynolds remained a beloved figure in Hollywood and beyond. He passed away on September 6, 2018, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Burt Reynolds, a true icon of Hollywood's golden age, leaves behind a legacy of versatility and charisma. With a career spanning over five decades, Reynolds graced both the big and small screens, endearing himself to audiences with his charm and wit. Reynolds' breakout role in Deliverance showcased his dramatic prowess, while his comedic timing shone in films like Smokey and The Bandit and The Cannonball Run. He also made his mark in television, earning three Emmy nominations and a Golden Globe for his role in Evening Shade. Despite his success, Reynolds remained humble and generous, offering this advice to aspiring actors just be on time, know your lines, and have a sense of humor. He believed in the importance of professionalism, preparation, and embracing the lighter side of life. Reflecting on his own career, Reynolds once said, I wish I had stayed with drama more. I did have fun doing the comedies, but I think I had more talent for drama. This self-awareness and willingness to evolve underscore his enduring impact on the industry. As for the future, Reynolds hoped that aspiring professionals would continue to push boundaries and challenge conventions. He urged them to take chances and don't be afraid to fail. After all, it was through his own failures that Reynolds learned valuable lessons and grew as an artist. In closing, Burt Reynolds' legacy serves as a testament to the power of versatility, humility, and resilience in the face of adversity. His advice remains relevant for aspiring professionals today, encouraging them to embrace their unique talents and continually strive for growth. Burt Reynolds' journey in the entertainment industry was nothing short of passionate and innovative. Born on February 11, 1936, in Waycross, Georgia, Reynolds' interest in acting began at a young age. He attended Florida State University on a football scholarship, but an injury led him to pursue a career in acting instead. Reynolds' career spanned over five decades, and he left an indelible mark in the industry. He was known for his charm, good looks, and versatility, appearing in a wide range of film genres, from comedies like Smokey and The Bandit to dramas like Deliverance. Reynolds' performances resonated with audiences, and his impact transcended generations. Despite facing personal and professional setbacks, Reynolds never lost his passion for acting. He once said, I've always believed that you can't fake passion. This passion was evident in every role he played, 
and it was his dedication and perseverance that made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. Reynolds' career is a testament to the power of creativity and the importance of taking risks. He was not afraid to push boundaries and challenge himself, and his innovative approach to acting inspired many. In the end, Burt Reynolds' legacy is one of passion, innovation, and perseverance. He proved that with hard work and dedication, anyone can leave their mark on the world. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry serves as a reminder that creativity and determination can lead to greatness. Without a doubt, Burt Reynolds left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning several decades, he graced both the big and small screens, captivating audiences with his charisma and undeniable talent. Reynolds' work ranged from action-packed films like Deliverance and Smokey, and the bandit to comedies such as The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas and Cannonball Run. His roles were as diverse as the genres he explored, showcasing his versatility as an actor. In addition to his work in front of the camera, Reynolds also directed several films, including Gator and Sharky's Machine. His directorial debut, Gator, even earned him a Golden Globe nomination for Best Director. Beyond his professional achievements, Reynolds was known for his generosity and kindness off-screen. He established the Burt Reynolds Institute for Film and Theater in Florida, providing opportunities for aspiring actors and filmmakers to hone their craft. As we reflect on Reynolds' legacy, it's clear that his impact resonates deeply within the entertainment industry and beyond. His work continues to inspire and entertain, leaving a lasting impression on generations to come. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What are your favorite memories of Burt Reynolds' work? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.